What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Today's suggestion comes out from the man, Harry Grout. Shout out to you, homie. We're going to be checking out um, Fred Wedlock. And this one is called Oldest Swinger in Town. It says T-O-T-P. I got to guess that's uh, Top of the Pop or uh, Top of the Pop, something like that. Um, hopefully we get it right. But either way, let's get it. You score with a chick in a disco bar. Take her home in your hairy little car Then you find you went to school with her mom Pa, you're the oldest swinger in town When you won't look in a mirror in the light of day Swear you died it when your head turns grey When you sip up your wranglers and your belly's in the way You're the oldest swinger in town Here you come and there you go White wheel spots and a stereo But the engines clapped and the driver also is the oldest swinger in town When your barber takes a little less time each week The kids don't understand a word you speak When you walk into a disco and they offer you a seat You're the oldest swinger in town you prefer a pint of mild to Bacardi and Coke The sounds are too loud and there's too much smoke You'd like another dance but you're scared you'll have a stroke You're the oldest swinger in town Here you come with your chest all bare A little gold ingot and a lot of gold hair But the disco king meets Yogi Bear You're the oldest swinger in town when you're feeling as stiff as a skinhead's boot You rub on Vic where you used to splash fruit And the latest punk fashion is your wedding suit You're the oldest swinger in town When you have to go shopping for your sex appeal Travolta shades and nine inch heels You say a man is just as old as the woman he feels You're the oldest swinger in town you come with your lips closed tight You never smile, you know it wouldn't look right Cause your dentures glow in ultraviolet light When you're the oldest swinger in town Oldest swinger in town And you look so mean cause your pants are too tight You're the oldest swinger in town Oldest swinger in town and it takes you all night to do what you used to do all night. You're the oldest swinger in town. And a song about your dad. Oh, <laughs> that song about your dad right there. Oh, my goodness. So, that is the first time we are checking out this song, The Oldest Swinger in Town. And we got to feel like this feels like, you know, for all my Benny Dorm fans, you know, we always say the word swingers. Uh, and we feel like this is the Swingers Association uh, song <laughs> that my mans Donald and Jacqueline would uh, love in the show. Um you know, not the loudest song. Sorry about the quality. That is the best uh, link that, you know, we were able to find. Um, uh, thanks that, you know, Mr. Harry Grout on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as the swingers, this, this song is definitely, uh, you know, before my time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one is before my time. The catchy part is just the old swingers in town kind of thing there. Uh, listening in on the words, you know. Uh, you know, with the barbershop, you know, cutting a little bit off and stuff. But, um, you know, we thought the song was pretty darn good. But, you know, it's it, I don't think that it's it's a song for me, like where I'm going to be hearing this song uh, constantly. I don't feel like it's, and, and, you know, please don't take any offense. It's not a song that I see myself bopping like uh, where I want to hear this song on repeat. It just I feel like it's too old for me. Uh, you know, but it made me think of happy thoughts of Benny Dorm, my man's Donald, rest in peace. Uh, um, you know, I still miss him on the show. So, you know, anything swingers related, it makes me laugh and stuff. But I just think the from the tempo being extremely slow, if I had like this country vibes to it, um, and I'm not really a fan of country music. Uh, I thought the song, you know, it was okay. It is not, it's for me, uh, it's not like, you know, like a top 10 song. I don't feel like I would uh, hear this song on uh, repeat. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's for me is like a one and done song. I'm glad I listened to it, 
but it's not for me, boys and girls. So please, we're always keeping honest. If we like a real song, you know, we always going to tell. If we're feeling it and it's okay, you guys are going to know, guys. I'm not afraid to say I don't like something, you know, um, and even if it doesn't make me likable because, oh, shit, he's not saying this is the best song. Um, now, I'm, I'm not saying this is the best song whatsoever, guys. We have no fear of being honest, guys, uh, you know. I'm always going to keep it 100% honest, even though it gets my foot, uh, you know, I, I get a good uh, ass pounded sometimes, you know, because I, I'm very honest, but I, I ain't going to change my ways, guys. This is, you like me or you freaking hate me, guys. Uh, this song was, honestly, I'm really thinking it's just okay. Um, but it gave me some good uh, reminiscing times of the show Benny Dorn, which I freaking love. So for that, I think it's just okay. Um, but yeah, it felt a little bit too slow for me. Um, it was in some ways just him singing old, you know, uh, oldest swinger in the town. Brought a little small laugh, but it was just too slow. Uh, song not for me, guys. So if you're a fan of the song, you let me know if you're a fan of the song. Um, but yeah, it just feels way too ahead of my time. So, you know, I probably would appreciate it. I grew up more in that time. Um, so anyway, regardless, I enjoyed uh, checking it out. The, the one great thing about doing this is if we check to see if something is for me or not, but it's no, it's no, you know, if you enjoy it, I'm happy for you. If you enjoyed the song, I'm, you know, happy for you. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Love you all. Thanks for the uh, suggestion, Mr. Harry Grout. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Peace and love. Peace.